Hello everybody! Today we're gonna be unboxing the Spirit of Putara starter deck. I've been waiting for this shit for how long? Since it was announced, man. I can't, I can't describe to you how happy I am to have another Vegito leader. Every single Vegito deck so far I've made into a deck. So, I've prepared actually quite a bit of cards I wanna put in it. And the next video after this one is gonna be the deck profile which I hope I will be doing today. And yeah, let's just get straight to opening the boxes. After I actually managed to open, oh my God, there is tape. You know, I actually didn't, uh, I forgot that I have to open this somehow. So I didn't bring anything, but we're not gonna be using it, I just want to see the art. What is on this mat? What cool thing will players see when they open their little mat here? They're gonna see the Vegeta and Vegito. It actually looks pretty cool. Huh. Okay, jokes aside, it actually does look pretty cool. Okay, now the deck. Mm. Mm. Actually, uh, the deck includes some set 10 cards, so that's gonna be pretty cool before the actual set comes out to see some of the cards. And almost opened it, almost opened it, and oh my god, it's a miracle! Okay, first of all, the full version of the Unison Leader. Looks pretty damn. <clears throat> Looks pretty damn nice! So, what does this little beauty do? Okay, permanent. If your leader card is blue Saiyan, and you have a blue Saiyan battle card in... And play in this mode... Ooh! Oh wow, this... That's actually pretty similar to Jiren. Uh, after that, activate main, I rest my own cards... Not really looking to do that, but I get a marker. After I get the marker, what do I do with two markers? Draw one card and choose one of your opponent's battle cards when energy costs greater than the current energy, ignoring barrier and place it at the bottom of its owner's deck. That is pretty cool. Okay, we'll be needing these, uh, this four times then. Oh, the next one is foiled too. Not the same kind of foil, but still foil. Uh, the leader is actually. How do I describe? It's pretty good. Uh, maybe one, maybe the best Vegito leader actually. If only I could use the green promo like in the green Vegito deck, but sadly no. Anyway, I can give my Unison card triple strike and plus 10k for two energy, and it's activate battle, which is really cool. Uh, and if it's my opponent's turn, and my Unison card would be placed in a drop area. Or one of my blue battle cards is removed from my battle area by opponent's skill or KO'd. Switch one of your mono blue energy to active mode and draw a card. And I should have done this side first actually, the art is again really cool. You know, just uh, same thing but instead of one energy, one card, uh, you just get to awaken if it's gonna be killed. That's it. Once the camera focuses you can see, it just... When it's gonna be removed or KO'd, you can flip this card over. Yeah, I'm not gonna milk this too much. And then the cards that are separated, and I do not approve of their separation, even though some of them are foiled. SB Son Goku, it's yourself awaken. Basically, take a life, give him uh, 11,000 power for the turn. If it's killed, I look at the top 7 cards on my deck, add one unison card, and then shuffle my deck. After that, Vegeta, it's really nice, has some nice little critical there. When it's KO'd, draw one card, then I take back a unison card from my drop area to my hand, that's pretty nice. And Trunks, what do you do? Why do you deserve to be here? If my leader card is blue, Saiyan, 
When I combo with him, choose one blue Saiyan card with energy cost of two or less in your hand. Negate its skills for the turn and play it in rest mode. That's pretty nice again. Okay. Okay, I actually like the trunks. I don't really approve of the character, so... I'm not really into the trunks cards. Anyway, this one is nice, might run it. The Wizard's Coercion, of course, nice to gate. This one actually I thought I was being original when I had the idea to put it in the deck. Then I find out that it's in the starter deck, so yeah, yeah, you know. Uh, became very self aware that day. Blocker that searches trunks. Then Mansion Magics, nice. Quif Quick Shift Majin Buu, it's a nice card, don't really need it in my deck though. Up to the side, you're wide open. Nice card. Uh, Krillin the Cunning. It is a nice card, but since I will be running Sensu Bean, I do not plan on using it. No, no, no. Then the Super Combo, actually. This one would be useful, but I do not plan on losing life with this leader. I plan on having a large drop area though, so I'll be using the Sparking Gohan. Gonna put it here for now though. This Vegeta, this Vegeta is nice. It's like the red Kaba that itself awakens and gives you double strike. It's really nice. Good thing to have. This Trunks. Oh. When I have the Union card in play, I can play this card for two energy. Can have only one of him on the board apparently. Uh. I will not be using a uh, Trunks Future Leader card, so no. Then activate Battle, 2 energy, this card gets... So it's like the activate main of the leader. Okay, I mean Battle, not main. Okay. I actually might use that Trunks. There are nice Trunks cards, uh, this set. After that... When I play this card, I can search a Unison card or a Trunks Future. So apparently I will have to run Trunks because I need a searcher for the Unison cards. And the big surprise, le big surprise, I actually bought a second one, so I have four sets of the cards I need, yay! So I won't waste your time opening the same exact box again, just gonna start making the deck now. And if it's any good, I will upload the video too. See you guys!